Hello everyone and welcome to Damak Hills 2. My name is Subhan Ahmed and today I'm going to be showing you around the community. We're located on Al Qudra Road. We have three main entrance and exit points. One of them being which I'm currently standing on. This is the Al Qudra one. We have the Lehbab connecting towards my left and we have another entrance and exit points towards the Elaine Road. Now, in general, it takes you about 30 to 35 minutes to get into the city and it takes you about 35 minutes to get back to the community as well. Now, as an agent, I regularly travel back and forth, so I have a pretty good idea. So one of the things about this community that really makes it a self-selling product is that, you know, the price per square feet, if we compare it to the rest of Dubai, it's 900 dirhams per square feet for a regular ready villa in Dubai. What you're getting over here is just about 750 dirhams per square feet. So you get a wide range of properties over here starting all the way from a studio all the way up to a 6 bedrooms plus maids villa and everything in between. Why don't we go and have a look at few of the properties and understand what they truly look like. Is this, a, is this Sigma enough? We're currently in the Wardon cluster and what I have behind me is a three bedrooms townhouse which comes with a front yard access with an L-shaped garden. It lies on a 1200 square feet plot with a 1600 square feet built up area. Let's go and have a look inside and see what it's all about. As you walk into your house, what you have is an open style kitchen on your left hand side and straight away you get the living and the dining area. So from your dining space, what you can access is the backyard. Now, what you can do around with the space is you can either turn it into a barbecue space such as this one. And this particular property, the good thing about it is it comes with a side garden as well. Let's go and check out all of the three bedrooms on the first floor. So as we come upstairs, what we have on our left hand side is the master bedrooms, comes in with built in wardrobes. And you get this cozy little balcony. So in the master bedroom, you do get some storage space as well, which you can either cover fully or leave it open if the heat doesn't destroy your goods. So as we come towards the right hand side of the stairs, you have the bathroom, which is the common bathroom for two of the bedrooms. So this is the second bedroom. Now this comes with the wardrobes as well. And you have a little balcony space on your left hand side. As we come out of the second bedroom, on our right hand side, we have the third bedroom. You also get built in wardrobes, but no balcony with this one, only the windows. So what we have behind me now is a 3 plus mates townhouse also known as the type R2EM. What's beautiful about this townhouse is that it also comes with an L-shaped garden. So this townhouse lies on a plot of 1600 square feet. It comes with a built up of 1700 square feet. Comes with a closed kitchen and a mains room. This is the L-shaped garden that I'm talking about. You can access it from your front yard and once you come back here you have enough space to play around. Again, you can make it into a barbecue area or anything else that you wish to. So as we walk inside the house, what you get is your living and dining space. And as we walk further down, you have a little alleyway which consists of your powder room, consists of the stairs going upstairs, and then you walk into your kitchen. Now the good thing about the kitchen is it's connected to the mains room. Now let's go and have a look what's upstairs. On your right hand side you get the master bedrooms attached with the wardrobes. Comes with the balcony space as well. And of course it's ensuite. Even from the master bedrooms, as you walk towards the alleyway, what you get is another bedroom over here. Good thing about it is this is also ensuite. 
As we walk out of this bedroom, very close to that, you get the third bedroom, which is also en suite, making all of the three bedrooms en suite, all attached with the wardrobes, giving you complete privacy. If those sizes weren't sufficient enough, what I have behind me might be the one. It's a standalone villa, six plus maids, usually lies on a plot of 3,500 square feet, but this one, it lies on a 4,500 square feet plot and 3,000 square feet built up area. This particular V2, it sits on a curved plot, hence the massive plot space that you've gotten. Now this is how you will get the actual house. Then you can turn it into a lush green space and you can do whatever you wish with it. So as you walk into this spacious villa, what you get is your powder room on your left hand side and a master bedrooms downstairs. So after exiting the bedroom, as we walk towards the living and dining, before that, you get the closed kitchen concept attached with the mains room. As you come out of the kitchen, you get your spacious living and dining space, which will overlook your lush green spaces once it's ready. So as we walk upstairs, what you get are five bedrooms, three of them en suite, two of them with a common bath. Two of your bedrooms are going to be overlooking the pool and park of the cluster. It's giving you exceptional views. As you walk out of the master bedrooms, what you get is a nice little pathway leading you to the other three bedrooms. So what I personally recommend with this layout is that you break this wall down and turn it into a living and dining upstairs as well. Ideally, that would give you a 4 plus maids standalone villa facing the pool and park. So currently we're standing near the community center. It's home to majority of the amenities inside the community. What we have on the ground floor is the Carrefour market. On my right hand side and left hand side, we have cafes where you can come, have a seat, grab some shisha and get some good food as well. Now, other than that, on the ground floor, what you cover is the Starbucks coffee. We have the food trucks outside of the community center. And then we move on to the first floor. On the first floor, what we get is a gym. We get a squash court, we get a tennis court, basketball court as well as a little kids playing area. So we're currently in the community center. What you have, as you can see on my back, is Starbucks, the greatest coffee shop for some people. We have Carrefour over here. We have a few different shops, even the optics. We have Shisha cafes. And what we have on the top floor are some of the amenities and the gym. So now we're at the first floor of the community center. We have the swimming pool right over here. We have a tennis court, the basketball court, and the gym inside. So we're in the picnic park right now. In the picnic park, what you have is a football field, which is located right next to the community center, actually. Now, if you walk further down from the picnic park over there, what you get is the food trucks. Now you have multiple food truck options available. You have stuff like South African food, you have Iranian food, you have mixed culture food over there. And if you step even further, what you get is a cricket ground over there. It's still temporary though, because we have the sports town coming up. The best part about it, all of the mentioned amenities are absolutely free to use for all of the Damak Hills 2 residents. Welcome to Watertown of Damak Hills 2. What I have behind me is the lazy river. We have a surf pool, we have a wave pool, as well as some water slides. So now after you're done with the water town, what you can come to is the boating lake right behind. So now the way the master plan is curated, the water town, sports town and downtown are all interconnected inside the community. You saw water town, it's all about the water. You have a water park and the boating lake. What sports town consists of is the cricket ground, paddle courts, you have tennis courts, as well as football pitches and a lot more. 